Hey everyone, uh, this is going to be a real quick video, um, just an introduction to the structure of the video series that I'll be making, um, and then also a, a retroactive look um, back on things that I might have done differently or some important things to note about the Web uh, Security Academy by Portswigger. So first of all, I want to explain just kind of the structure that I'll be putting these videos out on. Um, one thing that I noticed uh, going through is that a lot of the video explanations that they link directly under the labs uh, don't necessarily have audio walkthroughs or somebody explaining why things are happening the way they are, um, which kind of leads to people just following those videos and throwing code at the labs um, or throwing requests at the labs. And that's not necessarily going to help you really learn the material. Um, so I want to fill that gap by making this series um, have videos that um, you can watch, really gain some uh, actionable knowledge on each topic, and uh, go forth from there. Another area where I want to improve this um, is by creating a Notion page. So I've already set up a Notion site. Um, it's going to have a it's basically going to serve as a repository of all these notes um, for each lab and on each topic. That way you can go back and reference it. And if you want to take the BURP Certified Practitioner exam at the end of all this, um, you have a place where you can easily review all the topics um, just at your, at your fingertips. Um, and that's all going to be hosted in Notion. I'll link all the labs um, and their videos back on YouTube within the Notion, um, just so it's one centralized repository. Um, uh, other couple quick tips to note um, when going through this, you don't necessarily have to have BURP Professional um, however, um, I would highly recommend it, um, especially just signing up for the 30-day uh, trial, um, as that's going to give you um, access to a lot of um, important features that within this, as you'll see, we'll go through it. Um, things like uh, the intruder not being throttled, um, generating proof of concepts for CSERF attacks, um, all things that just become easier with Burr Professional. Um, so I highly recommend that. Also, I highly recommend doing the associated learning tabs um, with each thing and not just going through the lab, all the lab lists and just clicking through. You won't get as much from the labs. Um, outside of that, I feel like in addition to my content, the labs and the learning content, um, you should have a good grasp after um, completing all three of those on the specific topic. Um, and then we can move forward from there. I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video of the series. Thanks.